In this video, I'll show you how to tweak your computer to work best for audio production. First, in Cubase, if you press F12, you can see the usage of Cubase in the computer. The average load shows you how much of the available CPU power is used for audio processing. The real-time pick shows the processing load in the real-time path of the audio engine. What this basically means is that the higher this value goes, the higher the risk that a dropout occurs. A dropout basically cuts your volume, interrupting you to work and export files properly, and sounds like that in the project. Whenever a dropout will occur, the red light will show here, warning you to close some effects or instruments or export some instruments into audio files and delete the origins. And the disk indicator shows the hard disk transfer load. If a red light turns here, you need to disable the tracks or eventually upgrade your computer and buy a stronger disk. Just don't forget that the buffer size and the sample rate has many influence on the performances. So make sure you work in a balanced level according to your project. Next, click on the device tab, go into device setup, and make sure these two parameters are checked. These parameters are making sure that Cubase will distribute all the processing load between your available CPUs. If you're getting some troubles with your projects and you hear many clicks and pops, check this option. It's making sure that Cubase will run smoother on low latencies, but will make your PC consume more power. So if that's somewhat a problem, or making your computer run even slower, keep it unchecked. Here are some tweaks you can do in order to improve your PC's performances. First and most basic, go to the control panel, press on system and security, and press the power option. From here, you can change the performance to high performances, and if you click change plan settings, you can change some extra features for this plan from the change advanced power settings. In here, you can look at special performances of your computer, tweak whatever you don't find necessary. I only changed the desktop background settings and disabled slideshow. And no matter what, do not pick the power saver settings from here because your PC will slow down to a minimum. Next, close the window, go back twice, and go to system. And from there, enter the device manager. From here, check your audio interface connection to the computer, either USB, Firewire, or Thunderbolt like I have, right here. Double click and go to the drivers tab to check for updates. Search automatically in the web and wait for it to finish. I got everything updated, so I'm good. I would also recommend you to update all your drivers in the computer. You can download a great software called Driver Easy. And its free version allows you to scan your computer and update drivers to their latest versions. Back to the device setup, under sound, video and games audio devices, you can uninstall or disable devices you don't need. I for example don't need this Sound Blaster sound card, since I'm using the audio interface as my main output for everything. And I don't need the wave sound grid as well, so I'll disable them both. Next, go to your disk drivers, right click on the main hard disk, and under properties, go to policies, and check the second option. Now close the device setup, and back to the control panel, go to advanced system settings. Under the advanced tab, click on the performance settings. In there, you can choose to turn off or keep the animations of the computer. I like them better off, but you can keep them if you want. Now, go to the advanced tab and check the background services. This prioritizes the audio interface, keyboards, and other outsources devices to work at their best. Now, close all the windows and we'll update windows. This step is quite simple. Press on the start button and type in the word update. Now click on check for updates, and in here, once again, check for updates. Let it scan, and if there's anything new, it will download and install them automatically. Now let's go back into Cubase, press on hub, support, and check for updates. 
you will be directed to Steinberg's website to download the latest update available to your Cubase version. If you don't know the version of your Cubase and want to see if you have the latest update, click on the Help tab and About Cubase. You can see the current version you have right here. And finally, make sure your audio interface is updated. This is unique for every unit, but make sure to check your updates in your audio interface's main screen. And that's it. Now your computer should run fast and smooth. Now go back and make the next hit. Hey you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is one video out of many in the Cubase Academy production online course.